all right so what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel man it's your boy and we are back in the 5.6 beta so as always i gotta let y'all know that anything you see here is subject to change when the update goes live presumably next week tuesday going into wednesday keep that in mind this is just the beta this is a test build so anything you see here can be changed when the update goes live so damage numbers can get tweaked skill effects can get increased or decreased remove altogether anything is possible however for today we're going to be taking our first look at the legend himself apoc shakur because my guy has returned in a big way out here looking like an egyptian god you dig coming back with an amazing uniform straight out of the comics to go along with an amazing tier three skill a couple of you guys are giving me a hard time saying man why didn't you click on the tier three so we can see the effects here we go right he has paralysis stun burn he can penetrate super armor barrier shield all damage immunity and invincibility for seven seconds he also has seven seconds of invincibility plus an attack buff right there so that's what you wanted to see it's nothing stellar it's pretty standard but keep in mind his tier 3 also has iframe ignore on it and he does really good damage right in addition to that keep in mind that in this uniform apocalypse now has two skills that give him invincibility right he gets invincibility right here for three seconds right and then seven seconds right here that makes him very safe plus the heal and the damage immunity that he now has on the third skill Plus, he has multiple iframes. He's going to be super tanky, especially since his four-star passive got better. It's just crazy. It's going to be interesting to see who's tankier. Or is that even a... Yeah? Who's who's more tanky? Tankier? I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments. English, <laughs> New Year, it's speak it, my guy. Right? It's going to be interesting to see who can tank more damage between Apocalypse and Thanos. I still would give it to Thanos, but it's going to be an interesting comparison nonetheless because the uniform is in the same realm in terms of how expensive it is to upgrade these things and the cost for them natively right on sale and when it's not on sale i think it's going to be 2500 crystals which you shouldn't be buying any uniform when it's not on sale right you guys want to see the uniform options this is the only option i know right now i still need to upgrade it i haven't done that yet i've just been mainly playing around with him a little bit because the thing is i can't really tell what his damage is going to look like without a tier 3 rank. So that's why this is not going to be a full in-depth review, right? Because I don't really know how much of the damage is coming from him just being tier 3 and then how much of the damage is coming from him having the uniform. I have done a few test runs with him without the uniform and with the uniform and the tier 3 definitely seems like it makes a difference but i'll leave that comparison for when i get him on my own account because that way i have a better idea of what i should be expecting regards to how uh, much damage my characters do in correlation to somebody like apocalypse right so anyways boys for today we're going to take him into some world boss so you can see how he performs there as for a skill rotation for apocalypse for me what i've been doing with him is very simple and i'll talk to you guys about it right now it is basically to open with the third skill because that gives him that attack buff. It says 5% here, but it's actually a 30% attack buff, which is very, very good. And you can cancel it immediately and still get the attack buff. So you don't have to let this animation play out because it's really long. And depending on your setup for Apocalypse, whether you're using him with a regular custom gear or a CTP of energy, destruction, that kind of deal, this is going to steal the prop because he has so many hits, right? You can see a lot of hits, very long animation. So if you let it play out to completion, you're going to lose the damage block. You should only really be doing that if you have a CTP of Rage on Apocalypse. For me, right now I have energy on him. I toyed with the idea of giving him a CTP of Rage. But the thing about Apocalypse is he has very low dodge. So giving him a CTP of Rage, even if you gave him the best one possible, his dodge wouldn't be higher than I would say like 50% even if you gave him a whole bunch of dodge Urus. So even though he could possibly be a very good candidate for a CTP of Rage, I don't think it's going to be as good as somebody like Thanos, but that remains to be seen. Maybe when I have him on my own account, I can spec him out a little bit differently. But nonetheless, in regards to the skill rotation, I think you should go something like 3, cancel, 4, cancel, 5, and then proc on 5. You can also cancel the 5th skill if you time it properly. So basically with the 4th skill, you have to delay the cancel. You can't cancel it right away because you will lose 
the mind control and you lose the damage from the fist. You cannot do an immediate cancel. You see what I'm saying? I'm not getting the fist and you're not getting the mind control. What you're trying to do with Apocalypse is you're going four. Wait until he slams his fist down into the ground. You see that blue dome around him. That's when you're going to get the debuff effects like the mind control. And immediately after that, the punch is just going to start raining down and crushing these guys. When you see him slam his fist into the ground, that's when you want to cancel into the fist skill, right? So you'll go three, immediate cancel, four, cancel right away once you hit the ground. Because if you wait any longer than that, fist is going to start raining down. You're going to lose your damage block. The fifth skill can also be canceled if you time it properly. You can just wait until Apocalypse disappears and then you can cancel it into anything else. So that's why I said he's very good with Rage because the three, the four, and the five can also be canceled. And if you have the SFX off, actually, even if you have it on, I think the tier three can also be canceled. So you can literally cancel his most powerful skills. And if you time it properly and you have a CTP of Rage, you could probably get all of these skills to line up in the CTP of Rage, all right? So ideally the rotation is gonna look something like this. Three, cancel four, five, and you could ideally go with one if you are on the money. I actually lost the fifth skill there because I timed it a little bit off. So that's why if you're using energy or a regular damage proc, I would say go three, cancel, four, cancel, five, and just let it play out because sometimes it's very hard to see what's going on on the screen. So if you cancel the fifth skill too early, right, you might not get the exoskeleton and that smash that does really good damage. So that's ideally the rotation for him, right? For right now, if anything changes when the build goes live, we'll talk about it a little bit more. After the fifth skill, you can ideally follow up with the one skill because his one skill always did really good damage. And this was something that I would abuse back in the day when he could actually be used in timeline because you could one shot a couple people with this skill. Right, so it's gonna be interesting to see if with a tier three rank in this new uniform, if you can just one shot people with this quick iframe in timeline once again. So look out for Apocalypse when he gets this uniform in the live build. That being said, boys, let's get to it. Oh, one more thing I gotta to talk to you guys about. Sorry about that. Anyways, it's in regards to the tier three, right? On the test server, let me build it real quickly. I've been noticing that even though I'm playing on my OnePlus 7 Pro, which has a lot of RAM, right? It's a beast of a phone. I think it has like 16 gigs of RAM, which is crazy for a cell phone, right? I have noticed that sometimes, there it is, there it is, there it is, still going. So sometimes, I'm not sure if this is because this is the test server or not, but the game will freeze up for like a solid two, three second window, right? And you think, oh my goodness, my game is going to crash. But then you'll notice it just continues and he plays out the, the tier three skill. And that happens multiple times. Let's try it again. So... Didn't happen here, but it happens often enough. And again, I'm not sure if it's because this is the test build and the test server, so everything hasn't been optimized yet. But if it hasn't been optimized yet, Netmarble, please look into this. Make sure this doesn't come into the live build because it's actually really annoying to see your game freeze up and you immediately panic, especially if it's a tough fight. And that one tier three is basically the deciding factor. You're like, oh my goodness, my game does crash, but it actually didn't. So I don't know, <laughs> maybe... Maybe it's not as bad as I'm making it seem, but seeing your game freeze kind of sucks. And my game never freezes on my OnePlus, right? Not even on my iPhone, it doesn't. So it shouldn't be happening here at all. Anyways, let's jump into a little bit of gameplay. I've talked for way longer than I probably should have. Let's actually take him into uh, World Boss here against... Take him against Corvus since he has a really high ignore dodge. And I'll show you guys how he does here. We're going to pick up a couple. The cool thing about Apocalypse is he has a lot of ignore dodge built in. I want to give him Shuri and I want to give him Valkyrie. So with this build for Apocalypse, which is not 100% completed, he actually has like 91%, I think. Um, Hold up. I'll show you guys. 91% ignore dodge. So we don't need to give him any ignore dodge strikers because we have a CTP of energy. So if you're looking for another character to take down Corvus, which you have so many of them, right? You could ideally look to Apocalypse for that. Right, so let's jump in. I would try him against himself, but that stage is just mad low and he's probably going to dummy it. Maybe we'll end the video with that. So I'm going to show you guys how he does here. Hopefully I can line up the rotation properly. But you know what it is, man. The legendary scrub lord at the wheel. All right, so we're going to go three cancel, four cancel, five. Make it rain all hell. Nice. Use the one. Shuri BB. I need you to run. And... Why is the, the range on the trap just, it's just mad big, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. 
Apocalypse, a buck, my guy. Ooh, ooh, that was a bad proc. That was a bad proc. Okay, so next rotation, we're gonna go three, tier three, and freezing, 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 and then it stopped. No idea why that's happening. And that kind of cheesed me still. My rotation is definitely off now. I should have used the four. Ah, oh boy. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Apoc skill, but the damage is disgusting. Again, this is a lot of things going on here. The uniform, right? The tier three, like the tier three rank itself, right? And the tier three skill. So what we're going to do here is go three, four, mind control. Ooh, I missed the proc there. That was, that, wow, that was a missed proc and that was just so much damage. That's mental. He's doing so much damage here, but I don't want to prejudge him and say like that means he's really, really strong because again, this is not my own account, right? I need to be able to evaluate him compared to like some of my other characters on my account because it, this is looking good, especially considering where he was before, but... I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't want to overhype him, you know, but he look, he's, he's looking pretty nice. Let's go against Thanos here because this is, honestly, Thanos and Apocalypse are going to get compared to each other so much in this coming update. It's not even going to be funny, right? So let's see what he can do. The cost, the uniform, the fact that they're just so similar. Look, look at how they look. They look so similar now. Okay. Jeez, that damage is disgusting. And if you have rage, you could definitely cancel a lot more freely with them. Ah, that was, that was bad. That was dumb. That was dumb. Actually, let me show you guys. Wow. I was going to say, let me show you that the uh, tier three is an iframe because you can hit him in the iframe, but it just keeps freezing, bro. It just keeps freezing. I don't know what keeps happening, bro, but like, yo, Netmarble, optimize this tier three skill, please. Like, Please figure out what's going on with APOC. Can you tank this whole thing? Yeah, you can. I hope. <laughs> I hope when he actually like <laughs> uh, comes to the live server that we don't have any more freezing issues with his tier three. All right. Whoa, was the cracks always here in the arena? Bro, these were not here. Yo, they touched up the arena a little bit still. The attention to detail. Or maybe it's apocalypse's overwhelming power, bro. Actually. I want, I want to smash him with the tier 3, bro. I want to smash that ass. Crush him. Crush him. <laughs> oh, man. I'm playing him so badly right now. But the arena looks so sick, bro. Oh, my goodness. Yo, Netmarble, this is awesome. You guys didn't even have to go back and do this. But he looks so much cooler now with the cracks, bro. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Four and then five. I, I missed the proc there. I'm not even going to lie. Also... A cool thing about Apocalypse now is all of his skills are energy based, right? All of them. Every single one is energy based. So even if you want to use him against somebody like Cull, you can definitely do that very freely. I want to show you guys that briefly here. Because as you guys know previously, his fists on the uh, force skill, the Fist of Judgment, they used to do physical damage. Now they do energy damage. Or at the very least, they seem to do enough energy damage to... Uh... Oh, that, that was nice. That was nice. That was a nice proc there. Ooh, missed the proc there. That's fine. Next rotation, we're going to use the tier 3. We're going to go 3 into tier 3. And it froze again, bro. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yo, this freezing stuff has to stop, bro. Like, and it only happens for Apocalypse. It's crazy. Like, you would think if I'm using somebody like, like Luna Snow that has a lot of effects effects going on at once that would make it freeze but that's never caused my phone to freeze bro and if my phone is freezing like i know a lot of y'all's phones gonna be freezing right okay so now i want to show you guys that the um the skills are physical not sorry they're not physical anymore like everything is still going to be doing damage to the the shield see you don't see any physical immunity popping up Right. I should have actually tested the tier 3 there for you, but take my word for it, it does energy damage, okay? Let's put the work on this guy. Jeez! Jeez! Apoc Shakur back in a big way. I know this is only 25, but it's nice that 
He's a combat type that can do Call of City and boys. So APOC looking real nice, man. Just want to give y'all a first look at him. I don't know, man. I don't know. Is it a must buy? I think it's a must buy just because of how it looks. The fact that he now has mind control, a lot of survival ability built in, right? Defense down at the flies of world boss. Overall, it's a good uniform. But ultimately, man, we're going to have to measure him against Thanos and Jean Grey and see how he compares. And the fact is, he's a combat super villain. And we already know. That spot is currently held by one of the most powerful characters in the game. And that's King Neymar. So, yeah, Apocalypse has a lot to prove to a lot of people to really justify the cost of not only, like, getting him to Tier 3, but also upgrading his uniform to Mythic. Because on both fronts, Neymar is way cheaper. Half the cost in CCF, uniform doesn't cost you Phoenix Feathers. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting, boys. Nonetheless, we're going to wrap it up right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, like the video. If you dislike the video, you know what to do, man. Hit that dislike button two times for me. I said two times, goddammit. And if it's your first time here, man, feel free to hit that subscribe button on your way out. Because this is what we do. And we do it daily. Let me know who else you guys want to see, man. I'm gone. Stay safe. I love y'all. Peace.